Mohammed, what's the situation on the ground? You're a doctor who works for the military hospital in Bahrain. What's your perspective on this? Um, thank you, Ahmed. It's uh, two points that I want to make, and, and, and if I'm allowed to finish them both before anybody interjects, please. Number one, um, it's the issue of human rights. Um, I'm, I'm glad that it was brought, to, brought up by, by Mariam and, and by Brian, but it seems like the reason why we, we quote the BICI quite a lot is because um, it seems like a lot of the reporting, especially by Brian and Human Rights First, and, and a lot of the organization out there, they're pretty much exclusive rather than inclusive in their human rights issues. You know, I've been treating patients on the ground, and I'm proud to say that I treat every segment of the society. Um, and a huge segment of the society has not been reported on and still ignored. They've been demonized, people like the police, they've been handicapped, injured, uh, killed. And they've never been mentioned. They will never be mentioned by people Ahmed, like Brian, by people like Mariam. That's just not true. No, 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 Mariam, let me finish. Okay, okay, Mohammed, no, 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 no. you guys, this is my job. Let's finish your finish my two points. Mohammed, finish your point, please, your point, and let Mariam interject, and then we'll come back to you. Finish your point. They, the, I, I challenge anybody, even the human rights organization that Brian started recently, on social media, they make fun and they refer to them in their extremely derogatory uh, racist terms. Um, a lot of these police are demonized and they're second generation, third generation Bahrainis. They're made out to be inhumane, inhuman, uh, repeatedly. That's number one. Number two, it's not an issue of, of opposition versus government. This is me talking as a Bahraini. It's a, this is an issue between the people. The social fabric in this country has been destroyed. And it's been destroyed Ahmed, and it's been But, but, but Mohammed, if I, I, Mohammed, I'm Ahmed. allowed to just please interject and say, you're saying it's been destroyed. Many would say it's been destroyed by the government and by the mercenaries and security forces that to this day continue to fire tear gas supplied often by the US into these villages. Maryam, Ahmed, please, Ahmed, please. Uh, Ahmed, Ahmed, no, no, Mohammed, no, no, Mohammed, you said Ahmed, I can give you, I've already lectured on this in three international organizations. Which is quite the problem. Conferences. There are huge numbers, about over 30% of the injured, of the head and neck injuries, are from police and expats. Ahmed, okay, Mohammed, 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 you've, spoken Mohammed you've spoken for four minutes. You've spoken for four minutes. I do want Maryam to speak because I appreciate you speaking, Mohammed, as a Bahraini. Maryam is also a Bahraini who argues that she cannot go back to the country because there's a warrant for her arrest. Maryam, speak, speak. Ahmed, one of the first issues that you do when you're in a court of law is you first have to prove that the witness you have, the things that he says are credible. Dr. Mohammed Al-Muharragi is one of the people who operated on Abdul Hadi Al-Khawaja, who was one of the severest cases of torture in Bahrain, that, which was documented by the government's own report, this BICI Your report. Your father. I want to read, yes. I want to read very quickly something that Dr. Mohammed Al-Muharragi wrote on Twitter on May 15, 2011. He said, you can quote me on I, this. No, he has no, been let, let her finish. No, let her finish. No, 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 Ahmed. It's treated Ahmed, extremely is well and no, all no, no, his no, no. rights are given. Dr. Mohammed Al-Muharragi has Maryam, blatantly listen. lied about torture and about how he was involved in this, in this torture Ahmed, and how he has this treated how torture we live victims. Here. They How can we not sit here and listen to them make I these kinds of you. you guys, you guys, I you are doing yourselves an injustice. Mohammed, we're going to gonna have to, we're gonna have to drop Ahmed. you. I don't want to have to Ahmed. drop you, but Mohammed, let her finish her point. You finished your point. We'll come back to you. Let her finish Ahmed, her point. This is, this are you afraid of her words? Slander. No, not at all. So then let her finish. Maryam, please finish your point. We're going to drop you if you keep interrupting. You asked for us not to interrupt you. Let her finish her point. Dr. Mohammed Al-Muharragi very specifically wrote on Twitter after he was well aware of the torture that Abdul Hadi Al-Khwaja was subjected to. He said, you can quote me on this, he has been subjected to no torture, is, ex is treated extremely well, and all his rights are given. Now let me remind you that the BICI report, amongst others, reported that Abdul Hadi Al-Khwaja was tortured within the military hospital where Dr. Al-Muharragi works, where he covered his face while treating Abdul Hadi Al-Khwaja for several months. Now I think it's quite a problem when we provide that kind of platform for someone like Dr. Mohammed Al-Muharragi to sit there and still feed us these kind of blatant lies about the human rights violations. Okay, I want to hear... Number one, this is what we're used to from the get-go, is anybody who voices uh, their opinion, uh, which is all opposite to, to whatever the opposition thinks, is, is attempted to be discredited. Now, the, Mary, the lies that Maryam starts to churn out about Twitter or whatever, I challenge her 
to support that with any kind of evidence. I'll send you the and link I right now. Jeez, Maryam, send me the link and I'll pull it up I'll on my computer. I'll send it to you right now. Okay, so Mohammed, in the uh, meantime, I, while we're waiting for the link, I'm going to play a video that was aired on Al Jazeera as part of a documentary that resulted in many journalists being prevented. Ahmed, friends Ahmed, of mine and colleagues really of mine, can someone mute? No, no. But Friends Ahmed, of mine and I, colleagues I, I, of mine who, Fahad, I, before we do, uh, Maryam did send me the tweet. I will come straight back to you, Fahad. Maryam sent me the tweet that she was referring to, Muhammad. I have it on my screen if you can take it. You write, at Bahrain writes, you can quote me on this, which she did. He has been subjected to no torture, is treated extremely well, and all his rights are given. You're referring to who, Maryam, in that? He was referring to Abdul Hadi Khwaja. your father. Muhammad, did you not write this tweet? That tweet specifically, uh, I'd like to know which date that is, because there was it's another tweet that May they 15th. said that, uh, No, no. What? You don't want to know? No, that, that's fine, because that tweet, that, that tweet, I did tweet, and uh, whether whether it was about is it Hardy truthful? or not, I don't, no, no, but listen, I, I, that's taken out of context, I don't know who, who that tweet is about. It's, uh, it's written to the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, which Maryam works for, and she is the daughter of the man in question. No, can I see that again? No, it's that tweeting specifically, was it May 2011? Okay, we don't have much time, so I'm going to have to no, give no, Fahad the last no, no. word. Ahmed, Fahad, go ahead. Could we just get uh, with all, Fahad's with, mic, please? With all due respect, Ahmed, with all due respect, I should retort on this. I I'm gave you three opportunities and asked you three questions, and we're running out of time, Mohammed. We don't have... No, but, but Ahmed, I have not been given a proper chance to retort. You have I am a simple Bahraini. You have, you have 20 I'm seconds. You have 20 Bahraini. seconds. I, I, I am, I am a doctor. No, 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 listen. Maryam. Maryam, look. No, no, that's 20 seconds and I'm going to cut your mic, Mohammed. Go ahead. Retort. Fine. I am a doctor who's treated everybody and I've treated them ethically. If Maryam is used to doctors, as been reported by the BICI, who breached medical ethics, that I am not one of them. If she's going to report about ethical breaches, about doctors who didn't work within their code of conduct, let her refer to BICI Chapter 5. And it's not me. I'm Mohammed, I, 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 I appreciate you saying that. I've given you your opportunity. And I do want to just mention, if I can, uh, uh, do you believe that that the, I know you're familiar with the case, Brian, that uh, the man in question's rights were all given and he was treated extremely well, Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja. Absolutely not, and the BRCI report shows that too. The uh, government's own report. Fahad, one of the cases featured at the, in the appendix at the end. Fahad, that is, that is true. I don't want to focus on this point, but I would ask you that question.